It's the internet, you're busy, let's do this. Jeff Grubb with GamesBeat.com. This time I am talking about the Philips Hue lighting system. So I've got two Philips Hue Go lights here. Uh, not Hue Go. Hue Go. Uh, what that means is that these are lights that you plug in, but they also have battery backups, so you can kind of take them with you to go do some stuff for a few hours while they, they last or something. They are, they're LEDs inside of here. Uh, smart LEDs. So they last longer than you would expect, but they're, they're not going to last forever because there's a bunch of smart components in here in addition to the LED lights. Um, going to set these down. Uh, so what I'm talking about today is Hue Sync and these Hue lights. Hue Sync is a new app from Philips that captures everything that is happening on your desktop, turns that into lighting data, data and then sends that out to these, uh, to these devices. I normally control these lights with the Hue app on my phone, but Hue Sync is a little bit different. It exists on your desktop. And here, I'm going to go away from my face for a second. Let's see here. So, uh, this is the website. Let me come back here. Uh, basically, just search for uh, Hue Sync on Google. Click the first link. It's going to take you right here. You could download it, download for Windows, and install it. And then once you install it, you will have this thing right here Philips Hue Sync. And. What this does is it enables, like I said, it, it captures anything that's happening on your desktop. And you can, like, if you have multiple desktops, you could select which display you want it to go to. Uh, but to use this, what you, you'll need to do is you'll need to set up an entertainment area on your phone. So let's do that first. Um, I'm not going to capture my phone because if you're using the Hue stuff, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, but I'll just I'll walk you through it real quick. So... And you'll you want to set up a room or something, but that's all basic stuff. If you're setting up the Philips Hue lights, you'll do this stuff first because uh, you'll you'll need to really do that to get any control. Otherwise, they'll just be white lights. Um, you just hit the settings button on the bottom here. Let me turn up the brightness. What's up? Uh, you hit the settings. You go to entertainment areas, and what happens here is if you haven't done this before, it might need to update all of your lights. And that process does seem to take quite a long time. Uh, I don't know what determines why it takes so long. Uh, it took long. It took a long time for me, and it was it was warning me in the app. It says each light could take up to an hour. Thankfully, that wasn't the case because I had three separate lights. Uh, but the whole process did take seem to take like about an hour uh, to download the updates for each light separately and then install them. So what I've done here is I'm gonna. Uh, you can hit create entertainment area. But I've already got one set up. I'm going to hit Entertainment Area 2 for me because I have one set up downstairs, like I said. And again, Philips Hue can control lights all throughout your house. So if you have lights dedicated to each room, you could just set this up however you want. Um, so it's basically going to say where. And I'm going to hit Recreation Area because that's the name of this room. There's lights. And I'm going to select both of my Hue Goes. All right. And then you could set up like where... I'm sorry, there's a little bit of reflection, but you could set up like where the lights are going to be. And I'm going to put them on each side of my screen. Move the stream deck out of the way. You won't be able to see them quite. I'll, I'll like sh shut the shades here in a second so you can get an idea. Uh, but you can actually kind of see it like it's changing colors depending on like where I'm moving it. So it's let me know like which one I'm, I'm affecting. So it's pretty useful, pretty smart stuff. Uh, and the reason you want to set up the positioning is because Hue Sync does this really smart thing where it takes into account where in the uh, where the the light is happening on the screen. So if there's something like really bright on the right side and something really kind of weird and red on the left, the right light, and you can have I think you can have up to at least up to five, but I think more than that. Uh, but the, like the right side of the lights will all be really bright and white, and the other side will be red. So it creates that effect like on your wall. Uh, of this transition from red into white, um, depending on the scene. It's very cool, very smart stuff. So I'm going to hit perfect match, all good. And we're good to go. Okay, so just hit a check mark. And now, back here on my desktop, I'm going to choose Entertainment Area 2. I'm going to turn them all the way up. And I'm going to sync. Let's go ahead and sync with the game. Start sync. And I'm going to go with uh, intense just so we can really see it. And let's see here. I'm actually going to 
Let me bring my camera into here real quick. Okay. So I was going to play Dead Cells, I think. It's a nice, colorful game. Lots of flashing br bright lights. I think we can really kind of get the effect here. And I'll hold the lights up so you can see them. I'm actually going to pull the shades. And turn off this light. So I'm going to be... My face is going to be pretty dark, but should get lit up as we go. Oh, the game's pretty loud. Actually, you guys shouldn't be able to hear it at all. Okay, good. So, you see, now my, my, my face is kind of lit up like the game. And that's because this is, and you, the coloring's not great on, on the camera right now just because of the way I have it set up. But this light's pink right now. Uh, and this one's kind of orangish. And again, that's because this, this side of the screen over here is a little bit more pink and this side's a little bit more orange. And it's, and really, typically you wouldn't have these lights pointed at you. You would have, it, have them hidden behind things. I, was ha I at first had them hidden behind the uh, screen back here. Um, I ju and just one, and it was like just kind of reflecting like whatever was in the center of the screen. It was pretty smart stuff, and it was re reflecting it up on my wall and the blinds here, and it was it was very cool looking. But we'll hop in, and you see and you could see it like flashing on my face, you know, and it's that's mostly because these lights and not the monitor. So let's go through here. And again, I like this. I like this game just because it is so bright. Gotta turn down the volume a little bit. And if I can find it, if I find a teleporter in this level, you'll really see what it looks like. But I mean, but we're already set. Like that was pretty much setting this up from scratch. Other than updating the lights, which might take might might take you forever. All right, yeah, watch this. Oh, hang on. And you saw it like the light flash on my face as we did that. And I'll show you. I'll hold the light up so you can see. I mean, it's... It's stupid and cool, but if you have... Like, if you have an entertainment system, if you have a, a whole room set up for this kind of stuff, um, it's the kind of superfluous, unnecessary uh, update to your system that would really make a big difference to making it feel immersive. Um... I, I, I'm, I've been really impressed. And I, you know you know what I'll really say is the, the, the test that the Hue lights have passed a little bit better than anything else is that they are my wife approved. They are, I get a lot of things that I need to review for my job, things I look at for a little bit, send back. And, and most of these things go by unnoticed. My, my wife doesn't, I'm, I'm unnoticed by my wife. She doesn't always care. She's got her own concerns in life. She doesn't need to be worried about like the things I'm looking at that are sort of just... You know they're they're odd and 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 you sometimes okay I got a new speaker system that I'm tr trying out to see how it works with games, and I like it and it's cool it makes a difference to me. But she's like, oh this thing's just in my way, or it's like a new wrinkle in our TV setup, so she has to use the t TV differently for a month, um, and it's, so it's annoying. This has been, uh, it's never been annoying, and it's only been something that she's been like, oh this is r really cool actually, I really like these lights. Uh, and she likes them when we're syncing them to the movies, and she likes them when we're, um, and when they're just like, when we're using them as like our, our, our daily lights, because they are bright enough that you could do that, and I'm going to actually look into getting some hue lights for other things, um, within, within my house, but, uh, yeah, I, I've been really liking them, she's been really liking them, I think it does kind of amp up your entertainment center if if you are at that point where you like you have the tv you want you have the speaker system you want and now you're like oh, i'm kind of itching to see what else i can do to really move this up a level let me kind of come back here a little bit let me uh Oy. there we go all right and if you're trying to take that next step i think this is a really good good way of doing that it's it's cool. It works. It's super simple. Um, the only hangups are that update process. That updating process might take a bit, and 
it doesn't work with the Netflix app on PC. Uh, so that's been, uh, that's, that was kind of a, a problem for a little bit. I'm like, why isn't this working? It's like, oh yeah, it is copyright protected. It's got the HD, HDCP in there. Uh, so it like blocks you from recording it with something like OBS. Of course, that same protection blocks Hugh Sync from seeing what, what is happening there and then recreating that with the lights. Doesn't mean you can't get around that. You just use Netflix on Chrome or whatever, and it doesn't have that same protection and it works just fine. Um, other than that, I don't know. I've, I've been, I've been really happy with it. I think it works really well. I, I will say Hue Sync is, is, or not Hue Sync, but the Hue Phillips Hue lights are all pretty expensive and they are especially expensive when you compare them to other RGB lights that you could put in your house. Like there's like on Amazon prime right now, you could pay like, I think 10 bucks and get a backstrip for bias lighting on your TV and it, it you could change its color or whatever, but the problems with these things is, first of all, they're not smart. You have to, like, just... There's, like, a switch on the lights. You go there, and you just uh, go there, and you change the lights whenever you want. It, and they're definitely not syncing with things that are happening on your desktop PC or, your, you know, your laptop or whatever. Um, so, so yeah, like, the, you're paying a lot more, but I think you are getting something that... First of all, it, it does just work. It looks really cool. The lights get super bright. The colors, the you know, the millions of color options... Uh, are really impressive. I, uh, I, yeah, and I, I, I think like having the options for something like a Hue Go that is battery powered that you can move around, or dedicated lamps that Philips makes, or light bulbs, and they all just connect to this hub seamlessly. Uh, that is maybe worth the money. Uh, I think there are going to be people that it's not, it's never going to be worth how much more it costs, uh, and that's fine. But there's going to be people out there that think, okay. I, I do want to take that next step for my entertainment center. I just, yeah, I think this is the way to do it. So, yeah, uh, I, that kind of covers it. There, there's there's not a lot to go over when we're, I'm just talking about how to put this all together and how to use it. Uh, I will say that I think there might be, uh, there's room for improvement in terms of uh, support from other devices. Um, it would be great if Hue Sync was just a Windows uh, universal app that I could put on my Xbox One and then it captures everything happening on the Xbox One, and it doesn't have to be integrated at the developer level because that would just that would change everything. I would have this turned on all the time. It would be syncing with the, the local news, uh, let alone my video games, uh, you know, my entertainment center down, uh, downstairs. But I also I, I have a computer hooked up to that TV, so I've just been using that for everything, and it's been it's been worth it to get the effect. I imagine I will eventually grow um, less like less enamored with it, and I'm going to be like ah. Oh, We'll just use it as bias lighting to give that TV the contrast and that pop off the wall. But it doesn't have to sync. And, you know, it'll be nice to have the option there when, we, when we're, like, sitting down for a dedicated movie night or whatever. But when we're watching the local news, I'm not going to figure out a way to just turn that on through my computer. Of course not. Um, but, but, yeah, there's always a chance that Philips could continue to develop this stuff so it supports more stuff. And I do think there are some Philips TVs. There might be some other TVs that just support this lighting uh, and, and hue sync uh, lighting out of the box. And again, that would work with everything, but I, I'd have to investigate that more. And right now the TVs that people are all buying are the, those LG OLEDs, the TCLs, some Sony stuff, some Samsung stuff, and the Philips aren't, aren't really in that conversation a lot of the times, although the, so the TVs are fine. Um, but yeah, I, I'm really impressed with Philips hue sync. I'm having a good time with it. I, uh, Check out my story on gamespeed.com. I put some other like use cases so you could see what it looks like in other situations. Um, and I, yeah, I'm really liking it, and I think that's going to wrap up this video. So thanks for watching, guys. I will catch you next time. Uh, yeah, until then, I'm going to go point these right at my eyeballs and just stare at them as I play video games. Bye. <laughs>